Have you ever wanted to play as Shark Boy or Lava Girl? Or maybe Shrek with a giant minigun? Well, then this is the game for you. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. What's going on? It's from Coming Fast with another video, and I just physically cringed at my own intro if you guys caught that. But we're going to talk about the first 10 characters that are launching with Crucible today, and we're going to be giving a little guide along with them before I actually do these specific video in-depth guides for each and every individual character so this is just going to be a bigger video to maybe help you pick your favorite character before jumping in the crucible so if you do enjoy it if you laugh if this helps you please drop a like that'll help me out a ton and let's get into it looking at the roster here you have call of duty soldier 69 lava girl shrek with a minigun literal toxic cancer princess of persia Literal Toxic Cancer, but a robot. Shark Boy. Fat Jesus. Fish Sticks in Your Mouth. And Daddy Issues. Captain Mendoza is probably going to be everybody's first character. He's your very stereotypical shooter type of character who can call down a bunker that provides cover and also supplies a med kit. He can sprint around and shoot a gun that can get headshots for bonus damage. And he has a flash grenade that will completely white out the enemy's team if you land it in front of their eyes. Just like any first person shooter you've ever played like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty. He is really good at dealing damage consistently and at long ranges, and he's pretty useful in any situation. He's just a jack of all trades, and you can't really go wrong with picking him for any of the game modes. Summer is a really good farmer and also very mobile in combat and in traversal. You're usually going to use your fireballs at distance and then wait until the perfect opportunity to thrust your way into the face of the enemy to blast them with flames and your other abilities. Be careful not to overheat though because her abilities aren't on cooldown. There's just that bar in the middle that's going to give you a heat warning if you get too close. And if you overheat, you're going to get caught stranded. Earl is my personal favorite character in the game because I love big tanky boys and Earl has the largest health pool in the whole game. He can also deal a large amount of suppressed fire and damage with his minigun that can really apply a lot of pressure in team fights. And he can also defend his allies using his vents by deflecting projectiles and knocking enemies back. He also has good mobility using his thrusters to get out of sticky situations, so he's just a very forgiving character and really good for new players. Tosca is a toxic rat that can blink around and through objects, use a smoke screen to impair enemy vision, and has wall hacks with her goggles. She also has a sticky grenade that does even more damage if the damage she did wasn't enough for you already. She also interacts with objects 25% faster, so she's your go-to character when you want to deal damage and when you want to secure objectives like Harvesters and Hearts of the Hives. Shakiri has a lot to juggle between her sword that disrupts enemy abilities, her shield that deflects bullets, her dome that traps enemies and saves allies, and her pistol that can deal headshot damage from afar. She's really fun, but really difficult to play at high tier level. A good bug player is very difficult to deal with as bugs are incredibly good at zoning out enemies with their flower turrets of death that can be put on the ground, on ceilings, and on walls. They could also fly around and be really hard to hit, and they can also crop dust while doing so, leaving behind a cloud of deadly, deadly poison. They also have an overshield ability that can not only overshield themselves, but also teammates and the little plants that bug summons. Overall, Bug, in my opinion, is one of the best characters in the game for the amount of utility that he has and the ability that he has to play around with his teammates and securing the objectives. Drakal is a melee character with a long-range axe swing in his right click that I always tend to forget about, but he also has a ton of other utility and crowd control tools, more so than any other character in the game, because he has more abilities than any other character in the game. He has a dash that lets him go vertical to close distances, and you can choose between two kind of attacks when you use your E, either a spin Beyblade type attack or a ground slam stun. For your Q, when you go in range, you can choose between a grappling hook that pulls the enemy close or a claw attack that will give you lifesteal on hit. He also takes less damage in the form of damage over time, so it allows you to be in the fight longer. 
Rahi and Brother are a dynamic duo that utilize shields to win battles. You can get shields by shooting them with your laser wrist cannon. You can pop a shield that makes you nearly invincible. You can give your allies shields with a projectile or use that same projectile to blind your enemies. And you can finish the job with a giant punch when you get in close. Now, the main way that Brother and Rahi move around is by charging the super jump, as you guys can see here. Brother can also be sent out to a certain location, and then you can activate the button again and teleport to that location, but it takes a while for Brother to get there, and usually you use that little robot before you even get into a fight, so you have a getaway plan, because as I said, Rahi is pretty slow. But he's fun to punch with. If you love snipers, then Ajona is for you. She does a ton of damage when she lands headshots with her sniper rifle, and she can also use a grappling hook to either get away or get in close. She also has these little squid mines that she can throw around that will slow enemies when they get close to them, and she has this giant fishbowl ability that she can pop, kind of like a smoke screen that obstructs enemy visions and allows her to get away. She's all about playing stealthy and from afar, so try not to get as close as I did in this fight. Last but certainly not least is Suzanne, who is quite literally a one-woman army. She has a shotgun, a throwing knife, and an inertia gun that she can switch between depending on the fight that you want to use it in. You also get different buffs when you switch. You get a movement bonus when you switch to the shotgun. You go invisible for a second when you switch to the throwing knife, and you get extra shield when you switch to the inertia gun. Overall, she's just a killing machine and tons of fun to watch, and she could also dash around, which makes it hard to lock her down. If you want to get kills or make some highlight reels, you're definitely going to want to be playing Suzanne. And those are the first 10 characters that you can get your hands on when playing Crucible, along with a couple of very short guides on them. Remember guys, I will be making videos for each and every single one of these characters going in depth on how you should play them in order to win with them more often. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss another Crucible video. And don't forget, I also stream each and every single day on Twitch. As always, make sure I have a wonderful day. Peace. Yo, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Help me. No, she's not. She's not gonna get me. Hell no, brother. I'm using it. I'm using. I'm using a med. I'm using a medi. Yo, I was at.